I was born in Prague, then Czechoslovakia. It's now the Czech Republic. In 1936, my father was a member uh, of a large Jewish family, nine other people, and my mother had a sister. My uh, family was not very religious. My father was Jewish. He went to synagogue uh, and uh, he had bar mitzvah, but uh, he married a Christian. Uh, my mother, who is a Catholic, marriages of Jewish men and Christian women was quite common in Prague. It was an assimilated culture. My friends and I, we would play soccer after school, and we lived near the river, and the river froze up every winter, so we would play hockey. So that part of the childhood was quite normal, but what was not normal was the presence of German soldiers all around. Prague in the mid-1930s was the capital of Czechoslovakia, a democratic republic made up of Bohemia, Moravia, and Slovakia. And in 1938, uh, Hitler and British Prime Minister Chamberlain and a French Prime Minister signed the Munich Pact. And the German army took over Sudetenland, which was the German-speaking northern part of Czechoslovakia. And by March 1939, German troops were in Prague. Life changed uh, during the German occupation. There were Germans on the street. In the school, the classroom had pictures of Adolf Hitler and the German flag in front of each classroom. So every day we were reminded that the Germans were there and that Hitler was in charge of our country. Jews had to wear a yellow star, six-pointed yellow star with the word Jude, J-U-D-E, on it. I never wore the Jewish star myself. My father did. My mother had to sew them on his outer clothing. And one day we decided to walk towards downtown Prague. It was quite a walk. And I wanted to take a streetcar. And my father said, no, you know, the uh, Sunday schedule is sketchy and uh, we don't know when it's gonna come. So we walked and we walked and we walked. I later found out that Jews were not allowed to sit on any of the tram cars except the last one. It was similar to segregation in the United States before Rosa Parks decided she would not sit in the back of a bus. Jews sat in the back of the trams. But I think he wanted to save me from the embarrassment of having to move towards the back of the tram. So for whatever reason, we kept walking. We eventually made it to a kind of a nice plaza, and my reward for the walking was to have ice cream. And my father and mother were walking, and my dad had the Star of David on his overcoat. But he had a briefcase, and the briefcase he carried partly hid the Star of David. We were stopped by a Czech policeman who asked my father, I need to see your papers. And my father produced whatever papers the policeman wanted to see. And the policeman warned my father in Czech that it's it's punishable by death or arrest, immediate arrest, that if you hide the Star of David. That was against the law and you couldn't do that. And my mother took me aside because I was upset, she was upset, and for a moment I thought, wow, they're gonna arrest all of us right here or they'll arrest my father. The policeman didn't, but it was another reminder of the authority that they had. Uh, and it was another scary moment. 